about America's love-hate relationship with LeBron James. At least it's serious for us here on First Take. In two separate 2015 Harris Polls, LeBron was voted as America's most popular male athlete and the least popular athlete. Stephen A., how do you explain him being so polarizing? Well, it's jealousy. Um, some of it is self-inflicted as Skip points out because you came into the league being celebrated before you had accomplished anything. Uh, you, were an, uh, you were a global iconic figure before you won a championship. I think primarily some of the cynics, the criticism that comes in LeBron James' direction is due to the fact that people resent that he was celebrated prematurely and that he got it before he actually deserved it. My position is, is that, but it doesn't take away from the fact that he ultimately earned it and that he never cheats us, that he constantly goes out there and give full effort. That's a very, very big thing with me. You, you know, my favorite commercial of all time is Michael Jordan driving to the United Center and then getting out of his car and walking through the tunnels and the corridors of the United Center into the Bulls locker room. And he's talking and chronicling with the voiceover about all the times that he has failed. And then the screen goes black and it says, that is why I succeed.
Let's analyze and break down what that is. The first finals against San Antonio, nobody expected him to win. His championship was the fact that he got there. The second time, there were expectations because he was still chasing that elusive title. Um, lost to Dallas. It was a meltdown. No question about it. The worst performance of his illustrious career. We all get that. But then they came back, and we thought that this was going to be the toughest because now the pressure was mounting on him to finally become a champion. But they beat an overmatched Oklahoma City squad because they were just young. They were very, very talented with all with all the three that they have, plus the James Harden, but they were just too young. They beat San Antonio the second go-round for back-to-back -back titles. Then they turn around. Dwayne Wade is not healthy. And as a result, they lose to a San Antonio Spurs team who felt, obviously, they should have won the title last year, but Ray Allen saved the day in that game six that Skip Bayless will never get over. <laughs> So then we have that down the line. And then last year, you lose to Golden State because Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving goes down. Here's what makes it so interesting now. You do have Kevin Love. You do have Kyrie Irving. It is against Golden State. But specifically, it's against a guy who is unapologetic about the fact that he wants to to be recognized as the best in the world. He's not just a league MVP. He's not just a champion. Steph Curry, in his own way, is essentially letting y'all know, what the hell do y'all keep calling him the king for? I'm the king. I'm the one with the championship. I'm the one with the crown. I'm the two-time league MVP. And here I come. So LeBron James doesn't just have to worry about losing the championship but he's also got to hear all of this chirping about, well, now you're number two. Like a sound you hear that lingers in your ear, but you can't forget from sundown to sunset. Nah, nah. It's all in the air, you hear it everywhere. pursuit of history. The city of Cleveland has waited more than a half century for a pro title. While the Warriors are trying to start a championship repeat, the perfect cap to their 73-win season. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Oracle Arena. An epic seven-game series begins tonight with game one. Green chest pass, high left side to Curry, working on Thompson. Thompson slip. Curry the mismatch. Curry the three. Good! That's all it takes. Iguodala guarding LeBron James. James, the spin move. Boy, it makes it look so easy. That was pretty. That's 6'8", 270 doing that as well. Barbosa behind the back on the right side. Largest lead of the first half. Some huge play from their support players. Call some havoc defensively. We'll get out and run. And here comes Kyrie Irving. He goes around him. Iguodala stole it again. Three on two. Clay Thompson running. And laying it up and in. Iguodala may have the best defensive hands in the game. Okay, it's all right. Hey, we're in a great spot, right? One possession at a time. Here we go. Livingston, mid-range, 39 bench points to only five by the Cavaliers. Livingston's the foul line, rises again. Good! Roof ready to blow off this place. Keep pushing every possession, right? Finish it strong now. James goes to Thompson, left-handed, missed it. Tip to tick of Iguodala. Curry to Iguodala. Oh, what a beautiful pass. Curry, door running on, ready to dunk it home. Lowest scoring game of the season for Thompson and Curry combined. Yet they win by 15. Everybody stepped up. You don't win championships without, without the whole squad, so. Proud of way to play. More sharp than we were in game one. At the end of the day, we have the same goal, and that's to bring a championship to Cleveland. I mean, we obviously have a deep team, but everybody has an impact and has an opportunity to come in and help us win. 
and hopefully that continues for game two. Got to get some offensive flow. Ball's got to move. Now let's start playing our game. Outside, drives on Shepard. No look, flip to Draymond. He's open. He'll fire. Three ball, good for Draymond. Hey, Clay! Clay, good pass! Chance of Warriors. Thompson gets past Jefferson. Out to Green. Tries another three. Puts it in. Draymond Green lighting it up. He's got 15. Warriors pouring it on. An 18-point turnaround. Let's go, fellas. There we go. On the right side, gets it down to Draymond at the box. The cutters play Thompson. Got pushed. Hits up and in. He got fouled by J.R. Smith from behind. And Clay Thompson has a chance to give Golden State a 20-point lead. That's what it's supposed to look like. Defense is great. Way to get on the glass. Ball's moving. Good screening action. So you fall in love with the pretty basketball, the great ball for the competitive spirit. Pull out the Barbosa, the clay. The one thing this team constantly does, it takes your will. Clay for three, got it! Golden State, what an impressive performance. Shoot 54% from the field. And they'll take a 2-0 lead in these NBA Finals. Sports update. Cavs Warriors NBA Finals rolls back into Cleveland. Through the first two games, the Cavs as a team haven't looked like the Cavs we saw throughout the playoffs. Cavaliers have their backs against the wall against the Warriors. Game three inside the Q tip off is set for nine o'clock. We're down to 2 Understanding this is a home floor. We're a confident bunch and we can't afford to go down 3 0. So we're going to give everything that we got and leave it on the floor. Our crowd's gonna give us that energy, we're gonna give them energy too. Let's do it out, that's our approach tonight. See, everyone is ready to bury Cleveland, but if you make the necessary adjustments and then you play your best basketball, that's what this is all about. We're turning up into the notch, fellas, we know what to expect tonight. Do your job, man. Follow my lead from the start to the finish, all right? I got it. Let's go, man. in the front court, dribbles on Curry, holds him off, crossover dribble, takes a time of the key jumper, off and good. He can feel it right now. And he was the one guy they needed to get going, and so far, so good for them. Irving for three, puts it in! Kyrie Irving from way downtown! Irving has 16 first quarter points! What an eruption from the Cavaliers here to start game three. I like what we're seeing here now. They're pushing the ball, and they're out on the break. We got to be stronger, we got to be tougher, we got to be quicker. Barbosa heads to Livingston. What a beautiful look from Sean Livingston. Draymond for a slam on the fast break. This is a team that's more than capable of coming back. This game is far from over. Hey, we've done a great job to find our way back in. Let's finish the half strong. We'll be in great shape. Clay Thompson, oh, what a beauty, and a foul. He scores, he got fouled as well, and hit the deck hard. Beautiful move by Clay Thompson. That was a heck of a finish. Go get him, Tristan, go get him. 
Tristan Thompson. Back to LeBron. Over the head. Dunk. Brought down the lane. Took a beat from Tristan Thompson. Reverses one home. A wild first half. Keep being confident. Keep staying together. They're going to make some runs. They're going to make some shots. We know that. But we just got to stay together. And we got to keep fighting. All right? Caps led by as many as 20, but they'll head to the third quarter, up by eight. Jefferson left corner, back to Smith, makes a three, fires a three, nails a three. For the sake of the Cavs, they have responded. This is a different basketball team than they played in games one and two. Smith right corner for a triple, he scores. J.R. Smith off a of Kyrie Irving feed. That time it was Curry who was closing, but not quickly enough. 77-59 Cavaliers. Jump, switch, jump, jump, switch, hey, switch, switch, you're coming out that way. Switch. Turns it over. LeBron hits the deck to scoop it up. James keeps his dribble somehow. And now a loose ball, LeBron James up with it, passes over to Irving, lob back to James. Back to LeBron, and LeBron ever goes. Oh, he throws it down. And that will do it. There's the horn. The Cavaliers playing game three by 30 points. Your final, Cavaliers 120, Warriors 90. And the Cavaliers have battled their way right back into this final series. Right, respect, right? Yes, sir. You too, baby. It was a must win. Our backs against the walls. We're home. The crowd gave us energy. And, uh, you know, I'm glad we got the win. A rough night for Golden State. He'll get a chance to turn it around Friday night. You know, winning an NBA championship is not supposed to be easy. So it's up to us to respond. Not the way we wanted the night to go. And there's a sense of urgency knowing how big game four is. A true professional game tonight, man. We needed everything that, that showed up in the box score and everything that didn't show up in the box score. It's big time. Cleveland grinds, Cleveland believes, that's what the Cavs are. They embody the city of Cleveland. No matter what the world says, no matter how many games you're down, you don't quit, you don't stop believing. With your heart and your soul, you've got to believe we're going to do it. We're going to win. Because it's Cleveland, man. We're due. All in. 2-1-6. After winning big at game three, Cleveland has all the momentum. The defending champions have a tough challenge ahead of them, and they look to regroup on the Cavaliers' home floor and regain control of the series. Tristan Thompson on him. Curry the drive. Shot blocked by Irving. Curry Irving, 10 no. Oh, my. It's over five and a half remaining here in the second. This one has been close throughout. J.R. Smith misses the shot. Rebound, James. Another offensive rebound for the Cavaliers. Passes out to Kevin Love. Love squares. Love shoots a three. Love knocks it down. We're at the break. 55-50 is our score. Golden State trailing by five. You got to play faster. Be, it, be on the attack. Be the aggressor all night, all right? We're fighting like crazy, and that's the main thing. We're in great shape. Pressure is all on them. They have to win this game. Green racing up the floor. Draymond takes it all the way. Feeds Clay Thompson. He's open for three, and he buries it. Clay with a triple. Iguodala to Thompson out to Curry. Well, Curry and Thompson having their best game so far in the finals. Three-pointer, puts it in. Golden State up three on 11-point turnaround here on the third. Hey, listen, we okay, but we killing ourselves. We got to communicate and talk. We can't give them baskets. A lot of time left. We don't want to come up and slow the ball down. We got an advantage. We go, we're looking for shots. Love drives on Andre, leads back, his pass blocked. James goes up, stripped. Oh, what a play by Andre. Irving on the break, stops, goes up, blocked by Clay Thompson. This has been a dominant defensive second half by the Warriors. Rebound, Iguodala comes up with another one. Andre Iguodala having one of those big games of crunch time. A finals record now. For most threes by a team, Curry had a notion there to Barnes. Green and James joying at each other while play continues. They get down on the pull-up. That won't go. 
and a double foul is going to be called. Channing Fry getting in between LeBron James and Sense. Green starting to walk away. James has more words. Remember, Draymond Green is one flagrant foul and two technicals away from being suspended. Curry puts up a three. Bang! Seven Curry from downtown. That 17 three pointer. A finals record now for most threes by a team. The Golden State Warriors have handed the Cleveland Cavaliers their first loss at home in the postseason, and they take a commanding three games to one lead. I thought we competed. I thought we played hard, but every time we made a mistake, they made us pay. A way to respond. We've done it all year. No, no different in the playoffs, so got a man up. This next game is going to be the hardest game. Lock in. It was a key win for us, you know, but we can't be comfortable. We still got a lot of work to do. They're going to bring their best fight, so it's going to be a hard, tough game. And, uh, and Harrison Barnes hitting two key threes, and more importantly, you had five different guys for the Golden State Warriors who shot the ball in the fourth quarter, which means they trust one another and they're sharing the basketball. Whereas in Cleveland, only LeBron, Kyrie, and Kevin Love attempted shots in the fourth quarter. So it came down to the big three, who, by the way, don't have the greatest trust in the world for one another against the reigning defending NBA champions, who, if nothing else, clearly trust one another. That's why they won game four. That's why they're up 3-1. That's why they're on the verge of closing the Cleveland, the Cleveland Cavaliers out Monday night. They got, they, they, they didn't score for about seven straight minutes in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. 0 for 9 during that stretch. Yeah, Steph had 38. Yeah, Clay had 25. But it was about the defense and the toughness. 50-50 balls. They got none. Yeah. Golden State outscoring Cleveland 15 to 3 in an eight minute span there in the fourth quarter, now taking a commanding 3 to 1 series lead. Stephen A., what happened in game four? Well, a couple of things that happened. <clears throat> Number one, Clay and Steph were hitting their shots, um, and you could, you could see it coming. Uh, they found their stroke. Steve Kerr did an exceptional job of getting them open shots, I might add. He deserves a lot of credit for that. Um, and the Golden State Warriors played as a team. Uh, and the Cleveland Cavaliers played as individuals. LeBron James and Kyrie Irving took 33 of Cleveland's 38 shots in the second half. They took all but three of Cleveland's shots in the fourth quarter. The starting shooting guard for the Cleveland Cavaliers named J.R. Smith played all but five seconds of the entire second half and did not attempt a shot. And that's not it. Draymond Green, you potentially could cost your team a chance at championship. I know what you're saying. How? How? Very f easy! You! Yeah, the Cavaliers not life! Because if you think about it, I already wrote the series. It's probably over anyway. But I already wrote it off. It's over! For one! I wrote it off. But now, just now, it's going to be like a 30 for 30. And everyone's like, that's ah, over. And you think. But no. Grandma Green being out could play an integral part in the thing. What if Cleveland wins tonight? And they should. And then they win game six in Cleveland. And then they got game seven in Golden State. And Cleveland went, what would you fing do? So I think the stars are all lining up for Cleveland to come back in seven and win. Because everyone thinks it's over. But if Cleveland does steal a game tonight, and I'm assuming they're going to win game six in Cleveland, 
And wouldn't you want to see a game seven? And you, you thought the series was over. But somehow it's miraculously overturned the Cleveland Williams. Wouldn't that be something? Oh my God! Sold out Oracle Arena as we're set for the tip of the starting lineup. Some changes. Kevin Love back in the starting lineup after coming off the bench in game four. And because of Draymond Green's suspension, Andre Iguodala, his second start of the playoffs. The first one was game seven in OKC. is so psyched. This is what they expect. They expect the team to win. They expect these great performances. So, you know, you just can't wait. It's 
Sandy at its finest. Firestar, Riot Maker, Moon Stricken, Animal Need, Bad Seed, Untamable. Beast. I'm a rapper, I can snatch her And she will leave with me because of my stature Now everybody move, everybody bounce Grab right by the need to choose, we about to pounce With the war 51 in the bottle I call him Only let me hit this model in the bottle I like All women tall, women small women you got ya Let techniques teach your chakra Species release freaks, please the monster Petite beast, feast, deep teeth will rock ya Handcuff from Buster, don't trust her Round these hustlers, homie don't be a sucker When your love bust, they take it Squalor be harder, we need dollars from robbery The hotter these gallery, the larger the lottery Me, Ben, Ben's twins Gotta succeed, spin, cheese, Ben, Franks We, Graham, cheese, Ben, Banks Breeze, Ben, we, Ben, Banks Hungry like the wolf in these I give Money to my cooks in need I live In Sermon Oaks, but from Kansas City I miss home, Cali is business, but man is pretty I ain't lying, y'all Be punched up for money, my mind, y'all If I wasn't getting money, I'd do time, dog you never see the nine Tristan Thompson able to get that deflected rebound. And a foul on Curry, and Curry's going to get it with a technical. He throws his mouthpiece after fouling out of the game. And it hit a fan, Mike. Seth Curry apologizes to the fan, but lost his temper. First time he's fouled out since December 2013. And then gets hit with a technical foul with 4.22 remaining. The frustration setting in. Curry finishes with 30 points. It has been a roller coaster ride in these finals for Curry. What places stir us? Rookie, Norman Powell, what a steal and a dunk! What sights stun us? What moments move us? It's why we watch and who we tell. And what we might hope to come true. A miracle at its core is a violation of the rules of experience and the laws of nature. If faith is belief in things unseen, sport is the marvel of what we can see. So we watch. Not for the fact of what happens, but for the magic of what might. We watch for the urgency of now and the prayer of what's next. Turning on the burners, spins it, there he goes! Are you kidding? He's gone the distance! We watch for the wishing more than the knowing and the belief beyond the proof. And he will score! Just listen! Listen to the noise! James finishing touches on a magnificent performance. 41 in back-to-back -back finals games. And we will have a game seven in Oakland.
It's Friday. Good day. And we have a Game 7, gentlemen. Skip Ayliss, Molly Karam here in Bristol, Connecticut. Welcome into First Take. Stephen A. is in Cleveland. How we doing, guys? I'm wonderful. Wonderful. What's up, y'all? Oh, What's yeah. What's up? Love fired up Stephen A. Game day, baby. Let's go, baby. Fired up. Game 7, Skip. How you feel, Game Skip? Game 7, Skip. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Please. Woo! Of a 41-point performance in Game 5 at the Oracle, he returned to the queue and did the same thing against the reigning defending champions. Dropped 41 points, had 11 assists, 8 rebounds, was nothing short of spectacular. A man amongst boys, inside, outside, it didn't matter. Hit three of his six three points for the second consecutive game. Hit 50% of his threes. Not to mention the fact that he sat up there, all right, and was still going to the hole, grabbing rebounds, being a man amongst boys, and then to accentuate the moment, to accentuate the NBA Finals, in my opinion, what did he do? He blocked Steph Curry's shot and then turns around with the swag, talking smack to the reigning two-time league MVP which is something LeBron never does, never does. Last night, he was chirping, he was talking to Steph Curry and Skip, the reason why I'm so excited is not because of just LeBron James' performance. I saw him talking junk in a way that I never have, and then I saw Steph Curry after the ejection with, that people did not pick up on where he's walking off the court and he points in the direction of LeBron James to sit up there and say, I'm coming. All right, this is what it's about right here. We're talking about a game seven because LeBron James showed up not just in game five, but in game six. Yes, he had some help from Kyrie. Yes, other like Tristan Thompson was an absolute beast and deserves credit. 15 points, 16 rebounds, played like a man amongst boys himself. But in the end, it comes down to this down three one. On the brink of elimination, the Cleveland Cavaliers are now on the brink of history, on the verge, 48 minutes removed from becoming the first team in NBA history to overcome a 3-1 deficit and capture an NBA crowd. Last week, it was 3-1 Golden State 1, and I already accepted the series was over. And then, approximately 11.35, I heard that Draymond Green was being suspended. <laughs> that changed the whole outlook that I had. It gave the Cavaliers life. It's like one of them things, you know, the 30 for 30. They're going to have it, like, you know, the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're going to be like, yeah, it was over. 3 to 1. And they're going to be, like, shifting over to Draymond Green. He gets suspended. And it's, it's just going to write another chapter. So the bottom line is Draymond Green gets suspended. We win two straight. Now we're about to win three straight. We're about to win the title. I believe it's happening. LeBron James right now could cement his legacy. His legacy right now, if he comes back from a 3-1 deficit, and if they win, I assume he's going to have a monstrous game again. It'll be three straight monster games. He will overtake Jordan for the simple fact that he'll have three titles, one in Cleveland, coming back from a 3-1 deficit against the so-called greatest team ever. Arena is alive and roaring as we get set for game seven. There's the starting lineups. And the change, Festus Azili. Andrew Bogut out with a knee injury. Andre Iguodala will come off the bench for Azili. His first start of the entire postseason. He started 13 games during the regular season. The butterflies and the nerves have to be unbelievable. As Thompson goes inside and lays it in. James comes out of the back.
Well, the Golden State Warriors will go to the locker room with a seven point lead. We gotta be better, we gotta pick our body language up, all right? We gotta play harder, we gotta be more aggressive, all right? And listen, man, everything we got is 24 minutes, man. Everything we got. Come on, man. Hey, Tom! J.R. Smith with a hand in his face nails that two pointer. Listen, you gotta go down with these guys. Thompson, nice soft touch that time using the. Three. Another three-pointer. Thompson trying to get away from Kevin Love. Stops, pulls up, rattles home on James. Curry with the three fouls, picks him up. J.R. Smith tries another three. That's good. J.R. Smith with a couple of buckets. Curry with the three fouls. James passes it off. Smith another three. That's good. J.R. Smith back-to-back -back threes. Irving drives and finishes. Irving, the long rebound, three on one. Smith throws it up, blocked by Curry. Here comes Curry the other way, two on one. Curry the drive and the finish. What a sensational defensive uh, play. And they say, oh, I'd rather bounce, bitches That's and champagne. You would too if every Time night you see the same thing. Money wall to wall, young famous, famous nigga. Spin it all, when you die, you can't take it with you. Bottle of rose in from drinking with you. Cause most niggas broke, they bank is injured. The bitches gon' ride with who they think's a winner. And I'll be smiling in case they take a picture. Oh, uh, I'm smoking weed, drinking liquor, make a hundred off the show and spin it all on my niggas. When I go shopping, I tell them pick one. Cause they was with me when nobody seen the big shit. Always about my business, don't play the cards. I talk to the niggas who deal them. Uh, girl crush. Now look up the niggas and baby girl, you see us. Yeah, An entire NBA season coming down to one final quarter to decide a champion. 12 minutes, man. 12 minutes. Every time we put into the season. James drives, gets in the paint, puts it up, and puts it in. Before you got smaller guys on you, you got to capitalize. That time he does, right on Q Mark with click. Irving drives on Green, gets inside, off balance, comes up short, gets his own rebound and puts it back. Good ball to have from Shepard. Green drives on James and finishes. 
Red off the fourth. James drives down the lane, running shot, makes, and it's good. Oh, uh, Curry, crossover, three-pointer, that's good. Steph Curry from way downtown, and we're tied again. Iguodala, plus the most exclusive tree in my jar. Make it pop and fires, and it all. And that expensive shit you pay for, she had it on. Taking it all. Most of these niggas just talk and kicking it off. Back in the day when he was short, I'm making it all. You know what I mean? Azili now guarding James as Azili's back in. My and Azili goes for the fake. James draws the foul. For the day. Down I'm by two with just under five and a half to play. And he hits all three to shoot. Azili again goes back up on James. Steps back for three. Pops out. LeBron James from downtown. And the Cavaliers go up by two. Thompson gets away from Smith. Drives left handed off the glass. Nobody scored in four minutes. No. Nah. No. 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 You just have no idea. You just hoop. Iguodala to Curry. Back to Iguodala. Up for the layup. Oh, blocked by James. LeBron James with the rejection. It's the third block of the game. Thompson. Each team has a foul to give as we come up on a minute remaining. Then put it Curry in the pick and roll, trying to get him on early. Up by Steph Curry, six to shoot. He's at the right point. He stutter steps. He launches a three. He nailed it. 53 seconds to go. Cavaliers 92, Warriors 89. Irving has 26. Oh, what a clutch shot for the fifth-year man out of Duke. And I like the no timeout call by Steve Kerr. Love picks up Curry. Curry steps back, fakes the three, drives again, shut off nicely, found the green, seven to shoot, Curry fakes the three, steps back, crossover, puts up a three, rebound James with what, 30 seconds remaining. What a spectacular job by Love. Irving on the drive, goes inside, lost it, gets it back and finds Love. There's a seven second difference between shot clock and game clock, and they had a foul to give, so Barnes fouls him there. But that's a bad foul, Mike. That Absolutely. gives him three extra seconds. And what was Kyrie Irving doing in transition? Well, James will inbound. Now there's a 4.7 difference between shot clock and game clock. Cavaliers have one timeout left. They go in the backcourt in the last two minutes to get it. But they've got to manage this clock. They don't want to go early. Irving drives to James. Misses the jet. Bro, when you went down, was your wrist? Were you hurt when he went down? When? When he went down in the game? When he went for the? LeBron went to the hoop. I don't even down. remember that. Yeah, the he last went down. Play, when I went to the free throw line. Who fouled me? It was you. That game was a blur, man. <laughs> Straight up. That's, that's a clean foul. It's a foul. It sends him to the line, and you see. LeBron goes down hard. Fortunately, he's up walking to the bench. The big thing on that injury is Cleveland had to take their last time out. So if they have trouble getting the ball in, if Golden State scores, it's going to, you cannot have any more timeouts. So James will go to the free throw line. A hard fall. He's seven of eight from the line. Holding on and clenching that right fist. I can't say enough about the job Kevin Love did on that last possession defensive against the two-time MVP in Curry. Warriors have two timeouts remaining. Stays a three-point game. And Mike, as a player, there's no pressure right now. You're up three. Worst case scenario, you got to give him one free throw. That should be the mindset. I missed it. You got to step up and knock this free throw down if you're LeBron James. Warriors will no doubt time out. Miss or make here from James. Rattles in the second. Four-point game. Timeout, Golden State. Cleveland does have a foul to give. LeBron James now with 27 points, 11 rebounds, and the ability to score and flat out get it done on the offensive end. Irving now. And you can't forget about most spades either. A great point, I totally agree. I take the foul on this possession, forcing them to take it out again. 
Curry runs off. Iguodala looking. Thompson catches. Thompson a couple of dribbles. Head fake. Tied up. Throws it in to Green. And a foul on the entry pass. That's the foul to give. And now they'll take it out of bounds with 6.5 remaining. And you got to make sure you're in nobody's area to allow them to knock down a three and you get contact. I lost a playoff game on a phantom four-point play to Jeff Van Gutten. Big a dollar to inbound. Shepard trying to stay with Curry. Catches. Then dribble steps back. Puts up a three. Won't go. Rebound tip taken by Spades. Final seconds. It's over. Championship to the city. I gave everything that I had. I put my heart, my blood, my sweat, my tears to this game and Cleveland! This is for you! Congratulations, you're the first team in the history of the NBA to come back from a 3-1 deficit and LeBron, most valuable player, 2016 NBA Finals. Congratulations. I, I, I'm, not, I'm at a loss of words. All I know is uh, we're the 2016 NBA World Champions. Take that, take that, take that. Your cherry M3 bang every MC easily. Take that. Easily. Uh -huh. Recently, niggas frontin' ain't saying nothing, so I just speak my peace. Keep my peace. Cubans with the Jesus peace. With you. my peace. Packing, asking who want it. They got it, nigga, flaunt it. That Brooklyn bullshit, we mm -hmm. on it. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. And I just love your flashy ways. Uh, this is why they're broken, you're so fake. Biggie, 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 uh -huh. can't 
you see Sometimes your words just hypnotize me And I just love your flashy ways I guess that's why they broke in your soul I put Jose NY onto DKNY uh -huh. Miami, D.C. prefer Versace mm -hmm. right. All Philly hoes know it's Moschino Every cutie with the booty for the coochie Now who's the real dookie? Meaning who's really the shit? The niggas ride dicks Frank White push the six on the Lexus LX Four and a half Bulletproof glass tips if I want some ass Gonna blast me first Ask questions last That's how most of these so-called gangsters pass May I just say And I'm sure you'll echo me, Mr. Smith Congratulations to Cleveland, Ohio. I'm a big fan of Cleveland, Ohio, and you folks deserve that. What happened to the Golden State Warriors? What? The Golden State Warriors in the fourth quarter last night shot one for ten from the three-point line. And I just love your flashy ways. And Steph Curry, the the back-to-back -back MVP, the first ever unanimous MVP, the, the guy we both have called the greatest shooter ever, shot one for six in the fourth quarter, one for five from three. Get by your new one, the crew run, 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 the crew run, run, run. I know you sick of this clean brand, nigga with clothes, girl, say he's sweet like nigga. So get with this, nigga, it's easy, girlfriend.